Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Coach Franco Breakdowns and for the second edition of Breaking Down the International MMA Federation Rules, we have the Mixed Martial Arts Unified Rules for Amateur Competition. So this is for the big boys, the young adults to the adults. The International MMA Federation, for context, is the international governing body of Mixed Martial Arts. It has a lot of partner countries, partner regions. They want to develop a really good foundational grassroots program that would elevate the skill and the sport of MMA. So the graduates, okay, the graduates of this program would eventually fight professionally in the big leagues, uh, whether it be in the UFC, Bellator, PFL, uh, you name it. So for for this second episode, if you haven't uh, watched the first one, that is for the junior division. So I will link uh, that episode below. I'll pr- probably put it in one of the ending cards here. This episode, we're going to discuss the Mixed Martial Arts Unified Rules and Amateur Competition. This has been updated as of January 2021. Uh, I will put the link of the entire rule set on the description as well. In the Philippines, we have the PMAF or the Philippine MMA Federation. And this is directly working with the EMAF. So let's get to this. Now, of course, uh, we'll go to the technical aspects. But for this one, the scope, you can read this read this on your own. Now, the definition of mixed martial arts according, according to the EMAF rule set is a combat competition involving the use subject to any applicable limitations set forth in these unified rules of a combination of techniques from different disciplines of the martial arts, including without limitation, grappling, kicking, and striking. Jurisdiction, the referee, shall remain the sole arbiter of a contest. All contests and exhibitions of mixed martial arts must be conducted under the supervision and authority of the commission or host regulatory body. So again, uh, the referee will be the sole arbiter. So it's the third man in the cage. He or she will implement the rules. Okay, And fighters and coaches should follow uh, the instructions of the referee. Now let's go to rounds. Each contest under EMAF regulation shall be three rounds. Three rounds each to be three minutes in duration with a rest period of one minute between each round. So each EMAF. Uh, amateur na, na fight, okay? It's always three rounds, three minutes each, one minute rest. Stopping the contest, the referee and the ringside physician are the only individuals authorized to enter the ring or fighting area at any time during competition. And the referee is the sole arbiter of a contest and is the only individual authorized to stop a contest. Judging all contests will be evaluated and scored by three judges. A 10-point must system will be a standard system of scoring for each contest. Warnings. A single warning will be issued for the following infractions only. Holding or grabbing the fence. So you grab the fence, uh, you grab the fence, you grab the ropes of the ring or any surface within the fighting area. Uh, Holding onto opponent's shorts, gloves, shin guards, or rash guards. So in the amateur leagues, especially when it comes to EMAF and BMAF, uh, fights, uh, of course, safety is the number one priority. So all the protective gear will be there. Shin pads for our combatants and for athletes. So any type of grabbing, uh, the gloves, the shorts, the rash guard, of course, the hair, the uh, what do you call it? what else? The shin guards, right? This will all warrant you a warning. Having the fingers outstretched, palm parallel to the floor towards the opponent's face. This is a fist. This is, these are your palms. So this is my palm open facing my opponent. Now, what the rule says here is yung fingers parallel to the floor. So ito siya. Parallel to the floor, then facing towards your opponent's face. Um, ideally, this is to prevent eye pokes. So please make sure that the fingers are bent or just, just make a fist. I make a fist. The following acts constitute a foul in mixed martial arts competition. Butting with the head or headbutts. Eye gouging of any kind. So it's either yung accidental eye poke. Of course, there are accidental eye pokes. But these are. But when it comes to this particular rule, these are intentional eye gouging. Biting or spitting at an opponent. It sounds ridiculous, but uh, I've refereed the fight wherein someone bit his opponent. Fish hooking. Fish hooking. Um, one or two fingers. Pasok sa ilong. Pasok sa, sa kung sa may butas, and under yan, uh, yan, yan, yung sa bibig, fish hooking. Hair pulling, spiking the opponent to the canvas, onto the head or, or neck, pile driving. So again, uh, natural motion of a takedown is you bang the hip, elevate one solid motion, takedown. 
uh, pile driving as with uh, any if you are attuned to watching professional wrestling. It's elevating your opponent, turning them upside down, and spiking or initially you want your opponent's head to land first. So that's spiking. That is not allowed. Strikes to the spine or the back of the head. The spine includes the tailbone. So everything that is behind the head. So everything behind here, all the way down to the tailbone is a no-no. Okay? Huwag niyong suntokin yung likod ng ulo. Huwag niyong suntokin yung spine. Huwag niyong suntokin yung tailbone. Throat strikes of any kind and or grabbing the trachea. So this is the neck area. You can use a clamp. Okay? Okay? You just put downward pressure that's allowed. Okay, so that's allowed. So this is the neck clamp. Okay, downward pressure. The moment we see, the moment we see that your hands do this or your fingers, okay, your fingers start applying a clamp like pressure on the trachea, it is a foul. Uh, fingers outstretched towards an opponent's face. So again, uh, eye pokes. Downward striking elbow, this is your 12 to 6. So this is the motion, 12 to 6. So it goes 12 o'clock. So the pointed part of your elbow, this one, goes from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Groin attacks of any kind, please don't do them. Kneeing or kicking the head of a grounded opponent. Grounded opponent, flat, okay? Either four corners or flat on the ground. No kicking, no stomping, no kneeing of the head. Okay, speaking of the devil, stomping of a grounded fighter. So let's just say this is your foot, this is your opponent. Stomping is putting like the bottom part of your foot, okay, or the bottom part of your heel, and you make it land on your opponent's face. That's a big no no, okay? Don't do that, okay? Wag nyong sipain pababa yung inyong mga kalaban. Holding opponent's gloves, shorts, shin guards, or rash guards. So again, I just said it a while ago. Holding or grabbing the fence with fingers or toes. Small joint manipulation, fingers or toes. So again, uh, you want to grab, grab here, grab here, grab here. The moment you do this, the moment you do this, the moment you do this, it's a foul. Uh, it goes with the toes as well. So if you want to go for a foot attack, you go for a straight foot lock. Throwing an opponent out of the fighting area. So we have to thank Tank Abbott for that because Tank Abbott in the early days of the UFC decided that I will lift my opponent and then start to look for the fence or outside the wall and throw my opponent though. Because of that, this rule was created. Now, uh, intentionally placing a finger into any orifice or into any cut or laceration of your opponent. For example, opponent has a lacerated or may cut the lip, may cut the eyelid. What you do instead of doing ground and pound, you point, you take one finger and you start doodling, pressing down, doodling on that wound. Okay, that's that's a that's a no no. Okay, what you going on? Clawing, pinching, twisting the flesh. So clawing, alam ko ang clawing is kalmot, pinching and twisting. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know how effective pinching is when it comes to MMA, pero it's a no-no according to the rule set. Timidity, avoiding contact or consistently dropping the mouthpiece or faking an injury. Of course, if you fake an injury, fight stops, you lose. Dropping of the mouthpiece, uh, there are times where in the, uh, the mouthpiece will accidentally fall off. So we take it, we pick it up, we wash it down. Place it back on. Uh, depends on the referee as well. Ako kasi syempre, I don't want you to put something dirty in your mouth. So I will uh, on occasion. Eh, depende if it's um, if it's a... I'll make sure na it's a... Uh, what do you call this? A neutral position. So syempre, hindi naman pwedeng ginaground and pound ka. Tapos dinurama yung, yung, yung mouthpiece mo para itigil ka yung laban. Hindi ko ititigil yun. Bahala ka sa buhay mo. Diba? Dinurama yan eh. Tinanggal mo yan eh. Uh, timidity is avoidance or passivity. Uh, this is where you're not engaging with your opponent. So when the referee tells you to engage, you have to engage. So engage is kailangan maglaban kayo. Use of abusive language in the fighting area. So trash talking, medyo keep it to a minimum. Flagrant disregard of the referee's instructions. So please follow your referee's words. Uh, when they tell you to stop, you stop. When they tell you to pause, you pause. When they tell you to fight, you fight. Unsportsmanlike conduct that causes an injury to the opponent. Attacking an opponent after the bell has sounded. The end of the period of unarmed combat. Attacking an opponent on or during the break. 
attacking an opponent who is under the care of the referee, interference from a mixed martial artist corner or seconds, applying any foreign substance to the head. Okay, let's get to that. Pero uh, 23 to 27 are humanitarian rules. Okay? Wag, diba? Siyempre, pag nag-bell na, wag kayo mag, wag mo, wag ka nang jumaba, diba? Wag ka nang sumingit ng isa pang suntok. Tigil mo yun. Wag ganun. Unsportsmanlike yun. Another one is when the physician is attending to a cut or tinitignan niya kung may nabali ba. So, ikaw, sneaky ka do, puta ka sa gilid, suntok ang isa, I'm gonna disqualify you as care of the referee. So, for example, I stop, I say, uh, stop the uh, pause on the fight or stop the fight, stop the timer. Let me check. Are you okay? Are you still willing to continue? Siyempre kasi, safety is priority. Tapos habang kausap kay referee, bigla sisingit ka ng suntok, ah, that's a foul. Please don't do that. This rarely happens, pero uh, when the corners are very, very mad or they're very energetic, yung mga di na pipigilan na they continue to trash talk minsan yung iba they go Nick Diaz on you diba this normally normally number 27 happens pagka the fight is over and then the corner men are allowed to go inside <laughs> Normally, dyan nangyayari yan eh. Now, applying any foreign substance to the head or the body to gain an advantage. Ayan, yung mga uh, vas- too much Vaseline on the body, putting baby oil, putting so many things on their hair. Ayan, uh, liniments, diba? hot ointments. Uh, we're, we are going to, we're not gonna allow that. Forbidden techniques. In Tagalog, mga pinagbabawal na technique. In addition to the listed files above, techniques that shall remain forbidden in amateur mixed martial arts contest shall be number one, elbow and forearm strikes of any kind. So this is your elbow. So the pointed part of your this bony part, your forearm is this, right above the elbow and just by the wrist. So those that's your forearm. Yeah, forearm strikes. Heel hooks. So heel hooks. No, no, monetize a heel hooks. When you all grow up to be big boys, then you can heel hook all you want. Twisters, neck cranks, can openers, sit through crucifix or any submission deemed as applying pressure to the neck or spine. This is very, very easy to understand. So anything or any move, okay, na isolate yung spine, na you, you're gonna do this bending motion on the spine or the neck, don't do it. Okay? Uh, so, don't do can openers, yung mga, ano pa ba? Ano yun eh? I'll probably demonstrate this on the rules briefing, pero it's a very, one of those really good cranking na submissions eh, na talagang, I forgot the name, sorry. Pero, ano yun? It's holding the leg and the neck, then twisting them together. I forgot. Pero, that's very famous in the MMA scene. Um, Twisters. Twisters. You go one side, then you crank the neck this way. Then you this way. Yan. Tigil niyo yan. Wag muna. Knees to the head of an opponent. Okay? So, no knees to the head. You can probably knee the body, but you cannot knee the head. Foul procedure. Disqualification can occur after any combination of fouls or after a single flagrant foul. Fouls resulting in a point or points being deducted and as signaled by the referee must result in the, dedu- in the deduction from the offending contestant score and is to be noted notated by all three judges. So normally when fouls happen, uh, you see me do this. You know, go one point ako per judge signifying na minus one point. A fouled contestant has up to five minutes to recuperate. This is not applicable to all fouls. Normally in five minutes, yan, groin shots, eye pokes, accidental. So syempre, we need to give them time to recover. Um, if a foul is committed, the referee may call time. Should the fouled contestant show any visible signs of distraction or injury, the referee shall call time. The referee shall check the contestant. Siyempre, check. Referee shall then instruct the fouling contestant. Uh, normally, if there are accidental headbutts, groin shots, eye pokes, it's me attending to the fighter and then I tell the opponent to go to a neutral corner. Not to his corner. Okay? Neutral corner. So, sabihin ko sa kanya, saan ka tatayo? Okay? Pag hindi sumusunod or umaalis, I'm going to call a foul. If a bottom contestant commits a foul unless the top contestant is injured, the contest will continue without referee intervention. The referee will verbally notify the bottom contestant of the foul. Yeah, so that's me talking and telling you warning or don't do that, stop doing that. Or sometimes just to make sure that I get I get the point across, I will look for a neutral position or a neutral moment within the grounded opponents or the grounded athletes, grounded fighters. I will say, pause muna. Then I will remind the grounded fighter na, oi, stop doing this. When the round is over, the referee will assess the foul and notify both corners. You see me do this all the time. I notify both corners. Injury sustained by fair blows and fouls. Fair blows, if injury is severe enough to terminate a contest, the injured fighter loses via 
TKO. Intentional foul. Intentional fouls. If an injury is severe enough to cause the immediate termination of contest, the contestant causing the injury loses by disqualification. So, syempre, pag ikaw yung supply, disqualification. If an injury is produced and the contest is allowed to continue, the referee will notify the authorities and automatically deduct two points from the contestant who committed the foul. Point deductions, yada, yada, yada. If injury is going to be good. Okay, so when it comes to this pala, if it's a major or an intentional foul, two points yan, automatic. Okay, two points pala yan. Two points na automatic deduction. If an injury as described above is the cause of the contest being stopped in a later round, the injured fighter will win by technical decision if he is ahead on the scorecards. Ito yung medyo from the previous video, medyo nalabuan ako or medyo I, I took me some time to understand. But uh, for example, you got injured and I mean if, if I'm messing this up, put it in the comment section. Let me know uh, how to interpret this rule. So you got you received an intentional foul and then you can't continue for for whatever reason. The swollen na, the doctor said na you can't continue anymore. We go to the scorecards. If you are ahead in the scorecards, you win by technical decision. If an injury is above the cause, uh, describing B above is the cause of the contest being stopped in a later round. If the injured contestant is behind or even in the scorecards, it will be a technical draw. Okay? So, hindi siya matatalo. Technical draw. If a contestant injures himself while attempting to foul, his opponent, the referee, will not take any action in his favor. And the injury will be the same as one produced by a fair blow. So, pag injure mo yung sarili mo, sorry ka na lang. Uh, okay, this is the more technical part. Injury, severe enough, referee. So, so now, it's a, it's a severe injury. Okay? It's an accidental injury, pero naging severe na yung can't continue anymore. So, yun yung premise natin. Ah. Accidental, accidental injury cannot continue if the fight was stopped before two rounds or before two rounds have been completed in a three-round contest, okay? Or if stopped before three rounds have been completed in a five-round contest. So, for example, three rounds, okay, tinigil yung laban, uh, what do you call this? In the second round or before the second round happens, the fight is called a no contest. So, two rounds for a three-round fight, three rounds for a five-round fight. If you get past two rounds, so three-round fight, lumampas na ng two rounds, five-round fight, lumampas na ng three rounds, we will go to a technical decision. So technical decision is more or less, yan, going to the scorecards and seeing who is the winner. So winner via winner via technical decision. Yan yung mga, ano, it's a very tricky situation. And I strongly suggest, and I hope that this doesn't really happen to any of you. Kasi, I mean, hassle she. Uh, if injury B above occurs, there will be no scoring of an incomplete round. If injury in letter in Annex B occurs and the referee penalizes either contestant, then points shall be deducted from the final score. So we just go back to the original scoring system and kung meron bang fouls, meron bang point deductions, it will definitely affect the outcome of that fight. So we will go weight divisions. So straw weight is... Straw weight under 115 pounds, fly weight is 115 to 125, bantam weight is 135, feather weight 145, light weight 155, welter weight 170, middle weight 185, light heavy weight 205, heavy weight 265, super heavy weight eh? over 265 pounds. So at least when it comes to the EMAF and the PMAF, we have the super heavyweight division. Weigh-ins for amateur contestants shall be on the day of competition and each subsequent day of competition that an athlete progresses. So a day, uh, daily weigh-ins or ilang araw yung tournament, yun ang number of weigh-ins, you always weigh in prior to your contest or during the day. So no, uh, item number 14, these are your medical requirements, post-contest medical examination. Num item number 15, uh, EMAF equipment section. So you have your protective kit. So you have your gloves, your shin guards, groin protectors, mouthpieces, and then uh, athlete's apparel. So you got your shorts, MMA shorts, rash guards, shoes, Ayan, at least dito shoes same then athletes may not wear shoes of any kind during competition world champion athletes at the EMAF world championships EMAF will issue a gold kit to previous athletes who are gold medalists under all of the following conditions 
So these are these are incentives, major incentives na lang tong section na to. And then item number 16, these are your fighting area requirements. So it just it's the measurement of the ano, of the fighting area. So you have your ring, you have your cage, you have syempre kailangan corners, other equipment, safety requirements. This is where in this is the standard for everyone so the amount of the the, the gloves, the gauzes and the tape. Uh, also provisions for bandages. So this was also a good way for you to understand what are the specifics. Contestant's physical appearance. Major, uh, let's discuss this. Each contestant must be clean and present and present a tidy appearance. Siyempre naman, di ba? Wala, malinis kayo, naligo kayo, maayos kayo. The use of Vaseline or grease or any f- other foreign substance, including without limitation and grooming creams, lotions, sprays, may not be used on the face, hair, or body of contestants. So this is what I mentioned a while ago. Sinabi ko, yeah, yung mga pampadulas. The referee or the commission's representative shall cause any excessive grease or foreign substance to be removed. Yan. Wag na natin. Wag na tayo magpahassle doon. So, facial hair. Uh, yan din. Uh, if it causes... I mean, it, it probably wouldn't. Thank God na hindi man ako umabot sa ganun. Pero the referees can assess or the health officials can can make decisions about that. So, if you don't follow the rules, you don't get to fight. Contestants may not wear any jewelry or other piercing accessories while competing. This is for your safety. Types of contest results, submissions via physical tap-out or verbal tap-out. Technical knockout by referee stopping contest, referee stopping the contest on the advice of the ringside physician. Uh, decision via scorecards. Okay, unanimous decision, split decision, majority decision, or draw. Uh, you can lose by disqualification, forfeit, technical draw, technical decision, no contest. Effective striking, grappling shall be considered in the first priority of round assessments. Effective aggressiveness should not be considered unless the judge does not see any advantage in the effective striking, uh, striking grappling realm. Cage or ring control should only be needed when all other criterias, criteria are 100%, even for both competitors. Now, ang ibig sabihin lang nito is, you have to be aggressive. Okay, kailangan ikaw yung aggressor, kailangan ikaw yung aggressive sa cage. Kung pareho kayong hindi aggressive, di ba, syempre, that constitutes sa foul. Tapos, kung pareho naman kayong aggressive, ang titignan syempre is effective striking and grappling. Ilan ba yung suntok na na pumapasok? Ilang suntok ba yung merong impact? Ano ba yung, are you attacking properly in a grappling position are you defending properly are you creating scrambles nakakaalis ka ba sa submission attempts ayan effective striking and grappling legal blows that have immediate or cumulative impact with the potential to contribute towards the end of a match with the immediate weighing in more heavily than the cumulative impact okay so when you say immediate impact yan yung mga uh, power shots. Hindi naman yan. So, so since per round on judging, so kung ano yung mas may impact, yun yung mas malaki yung ano sa scorecard syempre. Uh, successful execution of takedowns, submission attempts, reversals, and the achievement of advantageous positions that produce immediate or cumulative impact with the potential to contribute to the end. So again, uh, these are your takedowns, takedown defense, scrambles, uh, cage work, yung ginagawa nyo sa loob ng cage or sa, lo- lo- sa loob ng ring yung magagandang galaw nyo sa grappling component. So, this will all add up. So, yung immediate is, syempre, pag may submission attempt, nakaalis ka, yan. Uh, scramble situation, nag-takedown, nakasprawl. Nag-takedown, natuloy yung takedown, tapos naka-ground and pound. Yan, yan yung mga immediate kagad. Yung cumulative, yan yung from first round to third round or from first round to fifth round, leg kick ka ng leg kick. So, syempre, uh, first two rounds, medyo okay pa yan. By the third round to the fifth round, magana yung legs. Uh, hindi na makatayo, hindi na, yan, cumulative yun. Kasi per round, nagbibuild up yung damage. Effective, ag- uh, effective aggressiveness. Aggressively making attempts to finish the fight. Yan yung importante. Lagi ka nag effort para tapusin yung laban. The key term is effective. Chasing after an opponent with no effective result or impact should not render in the judge's assessment. So effective means kailangan tumatama, kailangan nagla-landing, kailangan, kailangan maganda, kailangan nasasaktan yung kalaban mo. Uh, fighting area control. So this is uh, for officials. Round scoring, 10-point mass system. So now the next items for round scoring. 10-10 rounds, both fighters are really good. 
10 9 round, one fighter dominated the other. 10 8 round is where one fighter wins the round by a large margin. So, yan, medyo kumbaga, medyo semi tambak to tambak to. 10 7 Yan yung sobrang tambak na 10-7. Overwhelms their opponent. <laughs> An effective strike. Para hindi mo isipin paano pa nakatawid ng susunod na round to. Okay, so if you have any questions, if you need clarifications, if you have clarifications on the rules, put them in the, put them in the comment section. By, uh, no, by, eh, by, na, by no means is this a final, okay? This is just, these are just my observations and opinions. This does not reflect the opinions of EMAF and PMAF. So please be guided accordingly if you need, if you want uh, clarifications, we can discuss them in the comment section or we can ask a further uh, seek clarification from the PMAF committee. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my other social media channels. I'm on Facebook, Coach Frank Rolioda, Instagram, at my name, Frank Rolioda. And please like this video. So I'll see you. Bye-bye.